Hello, friends. So I wanted to uh, respond to Tommy Robinson's post um, about Islam and the hate uh, that it lives and exists in those words. But I also wanted to say to Tommy Robinson, because I know that you will see this video, um, that uh, I, I need to, to uh, critique your words. And as a Christian, as someone who has graduated uh, with their master's or divinity degree at New York Theological Seminary, um, and as a person who is committed uh, to religious diplomacy, that uh, where we all are at the table, Muslims, Jews, and Christians, um, and Baha'i, and many, many other folks. But, um, but I wanted to first acknowledge your words of hate. Um, from my Christian uh, point of view, first, um, that, uh, that I see that unites us um, with Islam and, and with our Jewish brothers and sisters, but, but first with Islam because we are addressing our Muslim brothers and sisters. So the God, of, uh, the God of Muhammad is the father of Jesus. And the God of Abraham, historically speaking, is the God that represents in all three faiths a part of the Abrahamic tradition. From the story of Exodus, we see God's delivery of his people from slavery in Egypt to the story of the incarnation that is central to Christianity in the embodiment of Christ being made flesh. But for Islam, it is found at the beginning of the final revelation found in the Quran that tells us a narrative of the Prophet Muhammad, who journeyed to the city of Mecca and then died in 632. Furthermore, Islam adopts an essential historical figures from both Judaism and Christianity. Moses was a prophet of God. Muslims say who gave the law of God. Jesus, for them, was a friend of God, but Jesus was referred to the Father sending another counselor for us who are Christians, who will teach you all things and who will remind you of everything I've said to you. John 11, John 14, verse 26. Muslims believe that Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit that dwells in Muhammad. Furthermore, the Quran and the Bible and the Torah are all viewed as holy books that are, um, that are as the embodiment of faith in God for instruction for the people of God. So when we evoke a spirit of justice and liberation and peace and unity, we are invoking the Holy Spirit. I also want to take a few moments and go through several verses with the Quran. See my iPad. Um, so you may also fight with them to eliminate oppression and to worship God freely. For if they refrain, you shall not aggress. For aggression is permitted only against aggressors. They are only allowed to act in defense. Muslims have permission from God to fight back only. So that is what that verse is saying. Fight for the cause of God, for those who fight you, but do not transgress, for God does not love transgressors. And feed with food the needy, rich, the orphan, and the prisoner for the love of him, saying, we feed you for the sake of Allah. We wish for no reward, nor thanks from you. There is no compulsion where the religion is concerned. Surat in the Quran, chapter 48, for we have appointed the law and a practice for every one of you. And had God willed, he would have made a single community. But he wanted to test you regarding what has come to you. So compete with each other in doing good. For every one of you will return to God. But he will inform you regarding the things about which you are deferred. And spend of your substance in the cause of Allah. And make not your own hands contribute to 
your destiny, your, your destruction. But do good. For Allah loveth those who do good. So to say that the faith tradition and the book of faith of our Muslim brothers and sisters is about war and is about murder and is about beheading. It's so not to give, it's to say a lie. For the same could be said about those who are, those of us are Christian. Because was it not too long ago that Christianity stood by slavery and by enslaving African Americans? Was it not that long ago that criminalizing and villainizing our gay and lesbian brothers and sisters was done out of the Bible? So, our hands as Christians are also stained with blood, blood of the innocent. We need to be honest about our collective history of oppression and of racism and hatred that comes out of our traditions. But we also need to be honest about justice and liberation that have also been voices in the midst of our tradition. Be that Judaism, be that Islam, or be that Christianity. That is my, that is my say about Tommy Robinson's post. The word of God for the people of God.